Hello and welcome back to our channel and yet another video in which we look into the various costs involved in owning a private jet. We will be looking into the one and only Dassault Falcon 10X. The shortlist for ultra long range. Purpose built business jet has been very short indeed, consisting of the Bombardier Global 7500 and Gulfstream G700. Dassault Aviation is the latest entrant into the ultra long range realm of private jets and going up against longtime rivals Bombardier and Gulfstream with this latest Falcon 10X. The Falcon 10X has become the ultra-long-range business jet to beat in terms of luxury and internal volume, so hold on to your seats. Before we get into that, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. It helps us a lot with the YouTube algorithm and lets us know that we are helping to enrich lives out there. If you are into aviation, have a look at our new aviation compilation channel, Aviation Central. It is the first link in the description. We would highly appreciate it. And without any further ado, let's get on to the video. Dassault Aviation has taken the wraps off its latest business jet, the Falcon 10X. French aircraft manufacturer Dassault Aviation introduced the Falcon 10X, a new advanced high-speed ultra-long-range business jet in May 2021. CEO Eric Trappier called it a new benchmark in business aviation. The latest business jet in the Falcon family is expected to enter service by the end of 2025. The twin-engine aircraft were showcased during the digital ceremony at Le Bourget Airport in Paris, France. It is designed to provide better comfort, versatility, and technology than any other purpose-built business jet. Obviously, at this stage, performance figures are somewhat unknown, but we will be talking about whatever we have got from the French aviation company so far. The Salt had fallen behind in this segment for a while, as its Falcon 8X jet had a range of around 6,450 nautical miles. But they are covering up with the latest addition in the lineup. The Falcon 10X will be the French plane maker's most powerful model, with a range of 7,500 nautical miles, which is around 14,000 kilometers. With that, the 10X will be able to fly non-stop from New York to Hong Kong or Los Angeles to Sydney. Dassault credits a portion of the aircraft's performance to its lightweight carbon fiber wings and increased wing sweep. Powering the Falcon 10X are two Rolls-Royce Pearl 10X engines, each of these near-mounted units is capable of generating more than 18,000 pound force. Such brute force enables it to achieve top speeds of around Mach 0.925. It is also the first time the British engine maker has been picked to power a jet from Dassault. Dassault also invested in fly-by-wire technology, which in addition to making flights as smooth as possible, now includes power control for maximum efficiency, especially flying in inclement weather. With a single push of a button, the aircraft will self-stabilize if situational awareness deteriorates. Falcon aircraft are known to have superior performance when it comes to accessing smaller airports, largely due to their unique aerodynamic capabilities. Requiring less than 2,500 feet of runway, the 10X will be able to operate in smaller airports where large aircraft typically cannot operate. Make sure to watch till the end as we will dive into the cost involved in owning the largest business jet. What most distinguishes the Falcon 10X is the sheer dimensions of its cabin. It will simply be the biggest and most comfortable on the market offering far greater flexibility with a wide selection of interior configurations. Dassault with a 6 feet and 8 inches tall by 9 foot by 1 inch wide cabin will give customers more room to stretch out and greater design flexibility without making them pay up for a Boeing or Airbus private jet. Depending on owner preference, that translates to as many as four lounges, including a large private bathroom with a queen-size bed and shower. A desk and chair setup can also be installed to complete the idea of a private in-flight hideaway without cramping the room. To enhance the sense of openness, four large windows pour natural light into this private living area. The Falcon 10X may also beat out its competitors in terms of natural light in the cabin. 38 windows across the 10X's cabin ensure that every nook and cranny receives inbound light to help passengers transition from multiple time zones. Owners will be able to customize the interior seating and layouts, working with either outside designers or Dassault's team. The interior design team has constructed the cabin to be modular and easily interchangeable. Owners can reconfigure their cabins easier and cheaper than with competing planes. The flexibility in the cabin won't just allow the owner to keep things fresh, it will allow future owners to craft the aircraft how they want it without having to spend extra. Tray tables are stored horizontally in the cabin wall for easy access, and all the chairs around the dining room table can swivel for direct aisle access. Cabin air is fully refreshed up to 10 times faster than most modern office buildings with the same type of filtration system found in most hospital ICUs placing passengers' comfort as one of the 10X's top priorities. An unseen enhancement of the Falcon 10X is its cabin altitude, which is the altitude at which the passenger perceives in the cabin compared to the actual height of the aircraft. 
achieved through the use of pressurization systems, while the aircraft's flight ceiling is 51,000 feet. Onboard pressurization feels more like strolling around a mountain resort with a cabin altitude of 3,000 feet. Those comfort factors were considered non-negotiable since flights on the 10X could last more than 15 hours. The upcoming Falcon 10X will be one of the most advanced business jets out there. It gets a totally new digital cockpit, which features the Honeywell Aerospace Primus Epic Avionics Suite, combined with an array of multiple touchscreens. Due to this functionality, both pilots can use the touchscreen at the same time. Thanks to some of the technology, which has been taken from the Dassault Rafale fighter jet as well, Falcon has increased automation, making it easier than ever for pilots to handle adverse conditions, such as severe weather and see through the clouds. It also features functions like synthetic vision, airport moving maps, runway overrun awareness system, among others. Another industry first, Dassault's unique smart throttle is the primary power control connected to the digital flight control system, linking the digital power management of both engines and automatically adjusting power as needed in any number of scenarios. The new Bird, which is capable of both high and low speed flight, also offers pilot-friendly features like Falcon Eye, a combined vision system for identifying obstacles during takeoff and landing in poor weather. Falcon Sphere is Dassault's electronic flight bag, an all-in-one suite of features and apps that allow pilots and flight ops personnel to prepare and manage missions with greater ease and precision. As we are entering the last part of the video, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. This is going to be the biggest one yet, so what is the price tag? Dassault's Gamble drew a repose from Bombardier, whose best-selling 19-seat Global 7500 goes for around the same price, $75 million. Let's get into the details of the cost, shall we? When you are in the air, you need flight attendants to maintain the best environment in the cabin. This can cost around $70,000 per year per crew. Therefore, for a whole crew, the annual cost would be around $250,000 per year. Having well-trained crew members is important. Again, they are essential to the safe and efficient operations of your aircraft. In addition, if needed, crew training can cost up to $30,000 of extra cost. When it comes to aircraft storage, there are two options, hangar or tie-down. In most cases, owners are not going to let their multi-million dollar highly technological machine sit out in the wind and rain. Therefore, it is a safe assumption that most private jets will be stored in hangars when not in use. The hangar cost can be in the same range of $30,000 per year depending on the location. Aircraft management, such as keeping track of insurance and contracts, is an essential component when owning and operating a private jet. An aircraft management team provides all the necessary services required to fly the aircraft. For management, it would be around $60,000 per year. When owning a $75 million jet, you better keep it managed. In order to ensure that aircrafts are safe to fly, they require maintenance at regular intervals. These intervals are scheduled and depend on the manufacturer's guidelines. Moreover, Maintenance is scheduled based on the number of hours flown, so the maintenance cost would go for around $28,000 per 200 hours flown for this $75 million jet. When landing at an airport, aircraft are charged a landing fee. This fee is usually based on the weight of the aircraft and also from airport to airport. Handling fees go hand in hand with landing fees. What if you want to charter it instead of going all the way to buy it? The charter price is estimated to be $13,000 per flight hour. Well guys, that's it for this video. Click the links above to check out some of our other videos. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. We have many great videos coming up. See you in the next video.